Okay, so time for the taste test. I got uh, Pacific Bold. Let's see how it is. Yes, definitely very bold. Um, anyway, also they had some snacks there too. Nutri-Grain blueberry something or other. Lemon bite cookies. Crunchy lemon. But uh, I'm going to do the usual banana, some strawberries, maybe an apple. And uh, then I'm going to go try to find some white paint because if you saw yesterday's video, you know I ran out of white paint while I was doing my last painting. And I found actually a little tiny art store in downtown Pacific Grove. So that'll be fun to check out. Maybe I'll try a new brand of white paint and then I'll let you guys know what I think. We can do a little review. So that's the plan. Hello. How are you doing? I'm how are you today? Good. So I just spent $50 on a tube of paint. Uh, but that's what I get for forgetting to bring white. Anyway, I'm happy to support a local business. The place is called Imagine Art Supplies. Really uh, nice woman running the place. So I'm heading out now. I'm going to drive around and see what I can find and uh, start painting. paint some cypress trees today uh, let me show you what I'm looking at so I painted these trees before in various configurations I'd like to get the ocean in the painting so that means I'm gonna have to find higher ground uh, it's kind of breezy out here so I'm probably gonna set up the Anderson easel and uh, and get started pounds of solid rock. Okay, so this is the moment you've been waiting for. We've got the Windsor and Newton Artists Oil Color. We're gonna try it out. Okay, so it looks nice. Nice and creamy. No oil separation. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I spent a little more time on the drawing on this one, maybe about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm just sort of experimenting, trying to move different elements around to get a good composition, because I can't fit everything onto the panel, everything that I want to include. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so this tree, uh, this tree here, I'm going to crop the top off of it, and, and then these trees in the back, I'm going to try to lighten up so that, you know, I create a sense of depth. All right, so I just thought I'd check in with you guys. The wind has definitely picked up. And I'm using a panel that does not have pumice in it. I usually mix pumice into the gesso, and I didn't. And it's super slick, so it's really hard to cover. I like to cover a panel fast, but when it's slick, the paint just kind of spreads around, so I'm kind of struggling with that. But uh, let me show you what I got so far. So I just laid in the darks using Ultramarine and Alizarin Crimson. Okay, so once again, I've got to run off to dinner, so we will take a look at this when I get back to the cottage. Uh, short on time here. There are things I like about it. I like the shadow here, how it's sort of irregular, uh, the irregular shape of the shadow. Uh, kind of like this path that winds off into the distance. Um, these trees are lighter and bluer, so I do feel like they recede a bit. Uh, but I just need to take it home, clean it up, play around with it, and see what happens. As for the $50 tube of paint, uh, it's really nice, super creamy, good coverage. 
but uh, I think it's a bit overkill for what I'm doing, so I'll probably just stick with the uh, Winton brand, which is Winsor & Newton's less expensive line. Um, but I was just glad to have white paint so I could keep painting. So once again, I'm heading down to Asilomar to edit this video and just gonna hang out by the fire. So thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.